Good afternoon everyone, Eric here again. Northwest Bus Sales. Appreciate your time checking us out. Get a load of this right here. This is a 2001 Ford E450 and the bus body is a Star Trans. This is old school, man. I like these, dude. I love the old front end like that too. And I like the new front end as well. Look, right there. Let me zoom in on that. There's the new, that started in an 08. And then, man, they used this clear back into the early 90s, I think. But anyhow, 2001 Ford E450 Star Trans. It's got the V10 on it. Let's cruise inside and give her a look. Star Trans used to be made by the Supreme Corporation. Now, Forest River bought them out. Same outfit that, oh, that makes StarCraft and a million other shuttle buses. But anyhow, old school Star Trans. Let's check her out. Driver's area, driver's seat's in good condition, not seeing any rips or tears, some mild sun fading. Check out the miles on this old girl. Look at this. 60,000 miles. It's got an airbag light on it. I reckon we could figure that out if that's important to you. Windshield's in good shape. There's your switch panel right there. Pretty modest switch panel as well. This is bare bones, entry level. And then your HVAC controls there for the driver and passenger heat and AC. Perimeter seating, look at this. 14 passengers, this is a non-CDL. Wait, hold on, let me make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 passengers, excuse me, still a non-CDL. I would imagine there was a luggage rack right here at some point, but not now. Tour style windows with tint. Got the double T sliders up top there. Rear emergency window exit. Yeah, carrier AC unit. A couple of speakers here in the back as well. I always like the inside of these old Star Trans, man. It was always tight, tight fit and finish. Got the FRP here, nice radius panel, nice and smooth, looking good, looking good. Floor feels good throughout. And so far it feels good. Feels good back here. The aisleway feels good. So, yeah. Oh, you know what? I am feeling a little bit of soft, soft floor right here where I'm standing. Be mindful of that. All right. Looks like we got a two way radio down there. I doubt that old thing's working, but. And AM, FM, CD cassette player. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I got a cubby up here. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Oh, yeah, I got a tire tool up there. Now, this bus, from what I understand, has spent its whole life here in Washington State and from Olympia area. And I'm sure if the sun hits it right, you can see the church it came from. All right, all right. Looking pretty good. Let's walk around it outside real quick. Electric bifold entry doors. V10, 60,000 miles. Fair amount of tread there, not too bad. Look underneath there. All right. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, you can see, yeah, look at that. You can see it with that sun hitting it, right? Church of Living Water, Olympia. There you go. So you are gonna see some oxidation, some sun fading on the billboards on this bus, so. I would imagine she sat out in the sun a while. There you go. Got some surface rust there on the chassis. There's a spare battery right there. Not a spare, but it's got dual batteries. There we go. Okay, 13 passenger, non-CDL. The body's looking pretty good, other than the old logo you can see that. I wonder if that could get buffed out, but Look at that. I'm not seeing any major damage on this. Man, look at that rear bumper. I'll tell you what, that baby is stout. That's like eight inch channel. Boy, they did a nice job there on that 45. Look at that. How about it? A couple 22 and a halves right there. And then let's look underneath here. There's your fuel tank. Mm-hmm tire tread there 
on the driver's side rears carrier you see you got your fans and condensers right below there like i said i'm not seeing any major damage minor dings and scratches throughout and in your driver's side front all right i think that will do it for this old girl right here 2001 ford e450 that's 14,050 pound gvwr and the bus body is a star trans by the supreme corporation so which is now forced river well i shouldn't say supreme is forced river star trans is forced river now i think supreme is just sticking to like bucks box trucks and stuff like that so uh uh, it's got the V10 in it, 6.8 liter V10 gas engine with 60,000 miles on it. All right, I think that'll do it. Appreciate your time checking us out. Give us a look online at nwbus.com. Please call with any questions, 800-231-7099. Thanks.